my inspiration visually comes from natural form. Uh, for the most most of my career, I've been looking at plant life, but most recently I've been looking at shell forms. Or um, the last piece I made was about hurricanes. Really, kind of enjoying branching out a little bit. My name is Sue Amendolara. I'm professor of art at Edinburgh University of Pennsylvania, and I teach jewelry and metalworking. I currently have about 45 students, and there's two of us teaching. Cappy Kennard is my colleague, and she has the same number, so we have about 100 students, give or take, through the studio each semester. So it creates a lot of energy in here, and it's a really thriving environment. It's it's really a, a nice place to be. We have a great community of students, and they find a lot of acceptance and um, just support in here. I didn't take my first class until my junior year of college. It was very much of a surprise to me that I that I enjoyed it until I until I did look back. Um, my father was an interior designer, and I would go to his studio and look at the objects that he would buy for people's homes and and I was really interested in the antiques and that sort of thing and and it wasn't until much later in after I formed this career that I thought oh that makes perfect sense why I got interested in initially the work comes about by situations that are happening in my life um, it's more of an emotional response, I think, to situations in my life as far as becoming a parent or um, trying to juggle work and, and home life. I guess uh, most recently I've been thinking about the, the tension of balance. Um, it goes, kind of goes along with the idea of balancing life and all the, the juggling that one has to do to manage. Um, and contrast, I think, of, in terms of surface and the surfaces that I use are contrasting um, but very uh, very subtly so I don't you know I think my work is pretty subtle in general I do sketch quite a bit I don't necessarily sketch finished pieces I sketch for gesture and I sketch ideas but when it comes to physically putting pieces together, I kind of just have to do it. And most of the time, I don't know if it's going to work until I do it, which there's an edge there that, even though I say I hate it, I must secretly enjoy something about that because I do it every time. And um, it keeps me really interested and it keeps me wanting to go back in the studio the next day. I definitely have a, a pretty strong starting point, but I allow for things to happen and change along the way. I think it's really important to keep that um, the dialogue open between me and the piece. I think I, ha I have to divorce myself from the initial drawing, the initial idea, and respond to what's actually happening in the metal. I have looked at a lot of plant life and the way things grow so that when I'm making work I might not necessarily be drawing from one particular thing but I want the forms that I create to seem convincing in the way that they're growing. I made a piece that was based on um, star formations and most recently I've been looking at the hurricane form because I really like the idea of the eye of the storm being calm. Honestly, sometimes the music stops and I don't even notice. I'm just working away and I, that's one of the best things I like about working is that I get into sort of a meditative state and it sends my mind somewhere else.
sur la confusion.